Yeah. I've got a I've got a great question from um, a colleague of mine, Jeremy, who, who asks: um, Real growth in COVID obviously is is pretty much unheard of. Um, so, what are the three things you did that that made the biggest difference? And then then he asks a, a really interesting sub question, and he says: For those of us who love coffee but are too old to cope with caffeine anymore, uh, how's the growth in decaf and no caf coming along? So I'll answer the first one and then Will goes for the second, I think. Um, the three things that we had to make sure when we you picture lockdown um, in, in March. Um, and the benefit of hindsight, you know, we, we, we didn't know lots of things. We didn't know whether we would be shut down as a business. We would, you know, our operation, because we've got a pretty sophisticated operation down in Hazelmere, Surrey. So we honestly did not know whether we'd be locked out. <clears throat> so we flipped our business goals, our business goals, you know, our commercial goals were all about growth so we can sell more, we can do more good with, 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 with the farmers that we work with. But it all changed in mid-March <clears throat> and it was, we, we had three things, <laughs> funny enough, that we had to do. One was, um, one was just looking after the health uh, and hygiene and well-being of our people. So that involved additional sanitation measures and, and social distancing measures in the warehouse. Okay, so it was health and well-being. The second thing was simply to keep going. It became a priority more than anything else. Keep going. So be that from the from the operation itself or saying to Will, I don't care, Will, let's go and get some more coffee because demand is going crazy at the moment. You know, I don't care what it uh, costs and supply chain costs. Let's go and get it. So it was keeping going was the second one. And then the conservation of cash, because we needed to make sure that we could um, that we could operate as a business. And as things happen, even though we lost our two million pound run rate on our B2B business, we saw a, an absolute spike that has maintained that we, we haven't lost those customers. They've stayed with us early through this time, but effectively our consumer business doubled uh, in over three months. Um, so yeah. They were, the, they were the three things that we did um, to make sure that we uh, we were better set following COVID. And, and and I mustn't let Jeremy's point about the the decaf and no calf go go unanswered. Yeah. So, Will, maybe you could just pick that one up. Exceptionally important question, this one. So, um, I know from my previous years in the coffee industry as an as an importer and retailer of green coffee to roasteries, um, decaf is where coffees tended to go to die so um <laughs> as an importer if you had a green coffee and it wouldn't shift you'd just send it off to decaffeination it goes on your decaffeination list and then that's what people buy because that's the option and as soon as, soon as i joined pact i said right we're not buying decaf off anybody we're not you know our, our decaf customers are as important as every other customer we have um, and our goal is to have the same range of taste and flavor profiles available on decaf um, as we do everything else. Now, um, we, we, nowadays, we, or since I've joined even, um, we have always arranged to have the same coffee that we buy for the rest of the website for everybody else to drink, decaffeinated um, ourselves. So we just send it off to decaffeination plants, bring it back. It is labor intensive. It does mean committing to a large volume of it, but it means that we can always guarantee that our decaf is of the highest quality and that it's really fresh. Um, so I can understand Jerry's concern because, you know, I've I've lived on the other side and I've seen what tends to get shipped out as decaf, and it's 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 a really sad part of the specialty coffee industry. Um, but what I can say is, um, jump on to the the pack website and do try out the decaf, and you should find. You have a pretty great experience.